Welcome to this next stage of this video of fixing my two hurting sheds up. So yesterday I finished getting them level and I still had to put some foundation and so on at some of the bottom corners as you can see. But until I can fix the boards up that the foundation sets on, I can't really pour the foundation or, or at least the slabs for it to set on. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to come into my shed here. We know it's, it's rotten down here at the bottom, obviously. So probably I'm going to check inside too, but I'm guessing probably about a foot high from the bottom. I'm going to have to cut off all the way around both sheds. And so basically what I'll do is, is I'll draw a straight line across about a foot tall. Uh, so I'll just measure, 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 draw a straight line. And then I'm going to take my circular saw, set the blade for whatever thickness this is. It's probably either a half inch or five eighths. And I'm just going to run my saw right along. And that will give me a nice good cut. And then I can just take new plywood. And then I can just piece the new plywood from here down a foot. And I'll do that all the way around. So that'll be step number one, getting rid of this old rotten plywood and or aspirinite. And then from the inside, I'm going to have to, let's go inside for a second. So right now we're on the small shed, or the one on the left. So inside, as you can see, it is terrible. But this is going to be a common wall here. So this wall is actually going to be removed because I'm going to open it up between the two sheds. The back wall obviously has to get fixed. So again what I'm going to do is somewhere's about a foot up on the outside. I'm just going to totally remove that. This is the side that's got broken floor joists or rotten floor joists. So I think probably what I'll have to do is again I'll take my saw and I'll cut along the joist that's here now. Probably remove at least a two foot, three foot section on the floor here and I'm either going to have to remove this joist and add a new one for that distance or nail a new one up to it. But I'm guessing I'm going to probably have to remove these old, this one out here, there's, there's nothing even left on this one. So I'm going to have to figure out where it's still good and where it's bad and do the same thing. So obviously this floor one is rotten here. There's nothing even left there. This broke when I was trying to jack the, the shed up to get it level. And this used to have a chimney in the place. And as you can see, that is all black, probably mold. And so I will at least cut the first section and very likely I'll cut out the second section here just to get rid of that because we sure don't want that in the building. And I was, when I was originally outside, this is an area that I was pointing at. And you can see that it's rotten down here. And so I'm going to have to go up about a foot. And then I'll just cut straight across, probably the whole, again, the whole outside of the shed. So, so that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to mark it all, take my skill saw, set it for about a half an inch or so, run it right along. And time I'm done, there will be probably a foot high all the way around the shed and uh, that's got no plywood and, and then I'll just put new plywood I'll cut plywood that's a foot wide and put it right back on and nail it back on so okay that's where we're at and uh, if I come across anything before I'm finished I will I will run the video a little bit longer so Thank you. what I've done is I marked a little bit on the shed just to quickly show you before I start cutting anything uh, this is where two pieces of plywood come together I basically from the bottom up I measured a foot and I've gone all the way across. I had to mark it with a nail because marker or pencil will not show. Here I went up two feet on the corner and I'll probably in time just do the whole thing up. And I haven't marked the front of the shed yet but as you can see it's rotten too. So I'm going to have to probably continue my line all the way across there but uh, so this is uh, and this line here is where the studs are but I'm going to go right to here and then I'm going to continue on so so that's what I've done I just basically went up a foot drew a straight line I've set my circular saw to the thickness of this plywood 
and so I'm just going to cut it now and I'll quickly show you when I get this little section cut out. I guess in case anybody's asking I'm just using the Makita circular saw it's got a construction type blade on it 24 teeth and uh, I just put a new one in it but uh, I'm sure I'm going to catch some nails on this before I'm done with cutting this wall and and again like I said I changed the how far it goes down to probably about a half an inch or so it's whatever the thickness of the of the plywood is. So I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to quickly bring it back and show you what it looks like with uh, the piece okay, of the so I just cut across one of the four foot sections and here as you see it just peels right off and I'm just going to do that all the way across and then as you see how it is rotten under there. Terrible, terrible, terrible and might have to make the blade a little bit sticking out further but that's how it is and that's what I'm going to do and then I'll just put another piece of plywood run it right along here um, I already know that's rotten down there but now that I'm going to have it up off the ground a little bit hopefully it won't get any worse so got to do that all the way around the shed and up the sides a bit and blah 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 so when I'm done I'll show you what I've done okay so I've just finished pouring the cement or concrete uh, as you notice it's not on the corner it's actually in one joist and so the reason for that is this down here is totally rotten and so there was no sense pouring cement there and because it was in the ground I couldn't even replace it yet so by doing this this will get it up the shed off the ground and then what I'll do is I'll cut away this bad board and replace a new floor joist and so on the corner boards here and then I'll pour another concrete slab right down here at the bottom on the corner also. Uh, for years and years this shed has probably been setting in the mud and it's, so it's obviously the bottom boards are rotted or mostly rotted. So anyway the first one is poured and once that hardens I'll lower it and cut this out and put new boards and pour another chunk of slab a, a concrete right there then and then we can continue on to the second shed. Okay so it has now been about four days since I started uh, replacing all the rotten boards on my sheds and as you can see down here that's a two foot high strip that I've replaced all the plywood there in front of the next to the door I replaced the piece there um, on this whole wall I had to replace most of the plywood there. I did it in the bottom. Uh, this here used to be a four foot wide door and I replaced it with a metal storm door and uh, there will be nothing big going there. It'll be more for like garden stuff and so on. So it'll be so I th it'll be a lot better than it was. And then I replaced all this, the uh, plywood at the bottom and there was a whole whack in the back I did. Lots of joists got replaced underneath of it. I removed those big beams here and that beam there. They were both underneath this shed. They're six or seven inches square. Now that the sheds are up off the ground, uh, they will they they will not rot now. So I took them out. I'll probably repurpose them for something else. So the wood is done. Plywood is done. Buildings are level. Uh, my next step will be to put metal siding on both of these sheds. So that will be my next video. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you'll give me the big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you now.